Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris, bringing you another how-to on uh, how to mod Quake 4. <clears throat> uh, this game is actually uh, pretty similar to mod, uh, like uh, Doom 3, since it uses the uh, id Tech 4 engine. So uh, modding it will be extremely simple, uh, or extremely similar to uh, Doom 3, as it both as both use sick mod. Um, and again, I'll be showing you how to install the D sound mod to allow you to be able to um, have uh, multi-channel surround sound in this game. So, uh, anyways, uh, here, let's take a look. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the sick mod folder course in your Quake 4 directory. After that, you want to go into your SIGMOD and either, like I said in the, my Doom 3 tutorial, either post a user made um, Quake 4 configuration or um, I'll be supplying my own down in the description below um, and you can drop your Quake 4 configuration in here. <clears throat> if you want to use your own, if you want to create your own, go ahead just launch the game and um, the game will generate this for you and you can later on tweak it and do all the stuff you want to do to it later on next you're going to want to use the para uh, the parallax mod that again I'll have the, I'll have the link down below in the description you go into your sick mod folder and you copy in all the folders into uh, your sick mod folder once you're done doing that go and install <clears throat> the D sound fix. Remember these two files again already pre uh, pre set up. You go ahead and you drop these right into your um, Quake 4 folder and then once you've done doing that <clears throat> double check that you're in your Quake 4 configuration remember you go down to the S, S generally is for sound in the id engines and you you uh, and check out use open al make sure it's set to zero and then also to make sure that you have uh six speakers uh selected number of speakers right here is set to six and oh and use open al is set to zero and once you're done doing that you're pretty much finished so uh Anyways, um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, again, thanks for watching.